It's something that may impact you. Now, by the end of the year, all major wireless carriers will shut down their 3G networks. So what does that all mean? Well, Andrea Smith is here to help us get a better understanding. Well, you know, technology is constantly evolving. We used to listen to music on cassette, then CDs. Now we stream our music. We even watch videos right on our phones. So cellular networks are evolving too. And now, 15 years after that first iPhone 3G came out, well, those older 3G networks can't support the way we use our phones today. So by turning off the network, cell phone companies can use that bandwidth for newer technologies like 5G that provide greater capacity and faster speeds. 3G now to a 5G, so what are some of the benefits of that? Well, 5G can run between 10 and 100 times faster than a typical 4G connection. So you'll see much faster downloads. Wireless companies are investing big in building out their 5G networks. In fact, T-Mobile was the first wireless company in the U.S. to launch 5G nationwide. And thanks to their merger with Sprint, they've got the largest, fastest, and most reliable 5G network, according to the latest independent benchmarks. Okay, can you share some tips to help consumers prepare for the transition? Yeah, so most providers are offering free phones to replace those older 3G devices. But I'd recommend upgrading to a 5G phone if you can to take full advantage of the faster 5G network. And really take a look at your current phone plan, especially if you're on a limited data plan. And maybe you want to start streaming music and videos. You know, some providers have plans with amazing built-in benefits. For example, T-Mobile subscribers get free international data Roaming. Many plans include Netflix, in-flight Wi-Fi with streaming, and so much more. Very good. Okay, Andrea, I checked. I see 5G, so I've got that off the checklist. Now, another thing we've been hearing about 5G is that it may interfere with airplanes. I don't like the sound of that. Is that something we should be concerned about? <laughs> No, you know, there have been a lot of stories this year about it, but really what you need to know is that there were stories. It's not something for anybody to be concerned with or for consumers to worry about because the wireless and the aviation industries are working together to ensure safety for everyone. Very good. All right. Thank you for uh, dispelling that uh, conspiracy theory. And we really appreciate you being on our show. Where can we go for more information? So for more information, I want everyone to just go research their carriers, see what's available in their area, check out the new phones and the new plans, because they might be surprised at how much has changed in 15 years. Okay, well, thanks for clearing this all up, and we appreciate you as always. And of course, you can head to our website, and that's firstcoastliving.net.